Good morning, everybody. It is David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude business briefing for Thursday, August 6th, 2020. And in an effort to continue to bring you aspects of the business world where gratitude is a factor and can help and enhance your approach to people you deal with, uh, members of your management team, people, your employees, your associates, whatever it might be, anything that can help. So for today, I have a dozen quick things, and I call these uh, That Gratitude Guy Success Reminders. And certainly, gratitude is always woven in on many things and showing your appreciation for people that you work with and that work above or below you in the, in the chain of command, if you will. Uh, number one, when you meet with people, have a pad of paper and take notes. I'm always fascinated how many people I meet with. Now it's more Zoom, but even so, that I'm, we're writing, I'm writing all these things down and they're not writing anything, and I kind of wonder how they remember anything. Uh, next, return phone calls always. I'm always returning phone calls and getting speaking gigs and coaching clients. And a lot of times it's something simple as something as simple as just returning a phone call. When someone says, I've got a book you should read, buy it and read it. It could change your life. I can't tell you how many times I'm, I get recommended books all the time and I'm amazed how many they were exactly right. It was a great book. Find a mentor. Find someone that is doing what you want to do and have them coach you or do what they do. That's the, generally the best way is find somebody that's got to, getting the results you want, follow them and do what they do. Keep busy, fill your plate, it will keep you focused. Always have a lot of things going on. Get organized, find a system that works. I don't care what the system is, I used to say just get one. Make sure you're getting organized. Master the art of, li of listening. Gosh, we don't listen well enough and so many people just want to be heard. And I tell people, especially the phrase, tell me more. The three great words, tell me more or and then what? Two great three word phrases that'll keep people telling you more instead of jumping on their conversations. Remember names, it'll always pay dividends. I mentioned the other day about how to remember names. Monitor your self-talk daily. What you say will direct your path. I tell people I'm very good with names. They go, I'm terrible with names. And I go, you keep saying that, you'll be terrible with names. Maintain an attitude of gratitude. That mindset will determine your life's path. I don't have to say much more about that. It's all about focusing on what you have versus what you don't have. Gratitude turns what you have into enough. Have a cup of coffee with someone once a week. You make the appointment. A little tougher to do right now. That might be on Zoom, but make those appointments and share some time together. It's actually even more efficient to do it Zoom than to go into a coffee shop. And then finally, number 12, redirect your thoughts when you go down the wrong road. Be aware of when your thinking is stinking thinking or negative or whatever, and see if you can take a deep breath and go back and focus what you're grateful for in your life. And that'll get you better, a better chance rather of from going down the wrong road and back on the right track. So anyway, so those are a dozen or so things to keep in mind for uh, today. I will see you tomorrow for the uh, Friday business briefing. Remember, be grateful and never quit.